You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, rightsgangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. I hope all is well with all of y'all out there personally and professionally. I know y'all probably looking at me like, why does Vada have on this Lakers stuff? So I put a little bet out there last night. The Knicks was playing against the Lakers. And this is the first time in probably 20 years that I could have ever felt positive about the Knicks, even though I'm a Nets fan. So I put out a fair bet with my dog, Gerald McCoy, who is a huge Lakers fan, you know what I'm saying? And I said that the Knicks would beat the Lakers last night. And just when I thought it was safe, the Lakers won the game. And hence, I am here in my gear. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, 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 I don't know what RJ Barrett was thinking about. I'm not a huge fan of RJ Barrett. Anyway, I feel like, and I feel like the Knicks actually wanted Ja Morant. I know they wanted Ja Morant, and they were stuck with the consolation. They, the constipation of the constellation. No, the constipation of the consolation prize. Because uh, RJ Barrett is shitty to me. That's just my personal opinion. But salute to my brother Gerald McCoy. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog. Uh, K Shine. Salute to K Shine and everything that he's got going on. As far as personally and professionally, he's not feeling. He's not feeling the fact that he feels like daylight is ducking. It's confirmed. These niggas scared. I'm not doing the battle at all. Now, more time, niggas called me out. Basically saying that he was called out and he's not doing the battle no more. Him, and when he's saying that niggas called me out, he's talking about daylight. This, he don't gotta say no names. You ain't gotta say no names. We decipher what's in the cipher to make it right. We decipher that. He's saying that, you know, I, I'm not doing this no more. So Daylight went live. He's actually live, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the battle and talking about he's trying to he's, he's trying to dispel the ducking narratives. Let's let Daylight, you can, you can talk. The floor is yours. Um, let's do this. Let's do what? Right. Let's end any narrative that could be thrown out there. Okay. Any narrative. Let's okay. end that. End it. Okay. How? Daylight versus K Shine is not going down at noon. Okay. Which does not mean the battle cannot happen. All right. So, why the battle can't happen? I'm getting custody of my older son in the same time that Noam is scheduled. Hold up, pause, pause. Now I ain't gonna hold up. If this is the case, I, I, I cannot be mad because family first, fathers first. So I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not tripping. This is, and this and now I'm hearing this new while y'all are hearing it. You know what I'm saying? So let's just keep on going. I definitely respect that. That does not mean the battle can't happen. Before no. Mm. Like this weekend or next weekend <laughs> or the week before that. Oh. When you start rapping like that, Daylight, he said it don't have to happen at Nome, but we could battle this weekend, the weekend before that, or the weekend before that, which tells me that he's in a bag. He told me he was getting prepared and he would be ready, though. It's nothing. To do a one-off. Yeah, oh. So, I am going to make a proposal. Okay. Right now. Make it. We can battle next week. <laughs> okay. That's my proposal. Talk to him. Talk to him. We can do a one-off next week. We uh, can do a one-off tomorrow. Wow. You call Beasley. Oh, Beasley, we can get on the phone and do a one-off before no. I don't even think I need to play anything else. Salute to Daylight. Check his um, One Only Spawn channel. Uh, he does recaps. He talks about battles. He talks about battle rap pin and things like that. And he definitely is doing, he did a live stream today where he addressed slash dispelled the rumor or quote-unquote narrative that is coming behind him allegedly ducking or not being able to... Uh, Take K-Shine at no. Uh, 
I got a lot of respect for the man if somebody's doing something to try to get their kids like that 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 means a lot that that resonates high because with the courts a lot of y'all know especially a lot of the fathers and parents out here know that with what's going on right now as far as everything with covid you probably get a date which is far 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 away and if you can't make the date you miss the date or whatever the case may be a lot of the times they proceed without you if you're not there at a lot of these court dates they'll proceed without you hey he's not here let's move on and not being there or not being able to do it or whatever the case may be does not bode well for the other party you know what i'm saying they'll just be like yo he didn't show up and they'll just give custody or give whatever to the other party so no nah, and i know a lot of y'all are probably like oh well this is in california and no one's like y'all gotta understand sometimes you gotta go to a different county you gotta be you might even who knows where the custody battle is that he might have to go out of state i get it i get it but i do want to see shine versus daylight so hopefully they could come to some kind of uh, agreement to where it could happen because when i spoke to light he was saying that that's probably gonna happen on summer madness not known that's what he told me you know what i'm saying like it is what it is but i already was in the knowing that it wasn't happening because a lot of people starting to put out these cards you know what i'm saying like they're releasing cards these 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 dream cards or the known card has been leaked and all of that and it probably has you know what i'm saying like nowadays i don't i'm not surprised by cards getting leaked but when i seen them being leaked with Shine versus Daylight on them, I knew it wasn't right because Daylight had already told me a, a couple days ago, probably about a week ago, he told me that him and Shine wasn't happening on them. So when Shine comes out and puts out, he's ducking me, he's ducking me. I mean, it's good, it's good because, you know, that does a lot. Hey, big dog, that does a lot for you when you when you barking on somebody about being ducked because being ducked is one of those things where you feel like, yo, I'm that scary, I'm that I'm that mean with it, that this person is ducking me, but like Daylight says in his live stream, you know, if it went, like me as a father, I definitely know that I do anything for my children, so it's like that, nothing separates that, because battle rap, you know, battle rap is going to be here, while we here, battle rap going to be here after we gone, battle rap was here, hmm, probably not before us. But it's one of those things that's gonna be here long term. You know what I'm saying? So salute to both MCs. Uh, I'ma leave this. This one is in the hands of the jury. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna we're not gonna rush the judgment because, like I said, there's so many variables about what K. Shine is saying and about what Daylight is saying. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes the paths could get intertwined when people are just jumping out there and saying like, "This person's ducking me." It sounds great. You know what I'm saying? But uh. You know, you know, we will see. We'll see. Because K-Shine was very, very fire in that two-on-two -two with Luke Castro. And Daylight, we haven't seen Daylight in a while. Like, his last battle was versus Tay Rock, and that was probably almost a year ago. So I've been saying that Daylight needs to battle again. Like, he cannot just live off of the strength of one performance. You can't battle once and then just disappear for a year or two and just live off of the laurels of that last battle. It just does not work like that because battle rap is, what have you done for me lately? <whistles> you got to do something. So I understand why he's saying we could do this next week. We could do this as a one-off. It's not going to happen like that because the money. It's way too much money involved. Nobody's going to pay Daylight the money that he wants or pay K-Shine the money that he wants for them to battle on a off weekend. Like, we'll put you on the card with set mc versus set mc who didn't finish the tournament nah that's not gonna happen nah nah nah, nah. big business you what y'all about to win this is big business daylight you know that you can't just take him on a week on an off week at a barbershop or something like that you know that's got to be on a card they're gonna put that at the bottom of the of the promo they gotta run trailers they gotta get some return on the investment, you know what I'm saying? So let's 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 get it together. But I know Daylight has that situation going on, then he has the music situation going on as to where he's, you know, moving with the company, the brand, the TDE thing. And I'm sure that that everything plays a part in now, because the more you elevate, the more layers it is involved with your business. You know what I'm saying? You can't just make all the decisions that you want once you get to a certain level, you know what I'm saying? You got business people, you got scheduling, you got booking. Long story short, man, is if y'all going to battle, push it out. Do some madness. Do some, y'all could do some madness. Did y'all get that? 
you know, that was like a little over the head. I don't want to go over y'all head too much. But uh, overall, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, whether you love it, whether you hate it, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's not fair, you're still here. Um, and all, I hope y'all all doing good in y'all personal lives, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know these are times where... You know, things are rough for a lot of people. You know, you still got people living with the effects of the pandemic. You know what I mean? Like jobs ain't like that. Markets ain't like that. Stocks is plump. Look at look at Dogecoin. Dogecoin had me go from looking at Ferraris to fucking Nike slides. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at Ferraris the other day. Like, yo, this dope shit about to take off for me. Now I'm in some damn Nike slides. Might go buy some new running shoes or some shit like that. They took my little man. <laughs> Anybody that ever looked at me wrong or owes me some money is fucking dead, B. Salute to my guy Showtime SP and anybody else. Oh, yeah, Gerald McCoy. Yeah, look, look. Lakers. Let's go, Lakers. <laughs> Gang.